You might have seen me on Mike McIntyre's road show. I was in the fourth row. <laughs> I'm from uh, Windsor actually, and as you all know, that's home of the Queen. That's right, Elton John's got a house. <laughs> also got Legoland there. Earlier today I had a meal there, and ever since then I've been shitting bricks. <laughs> Talking of Lego though, some people say that's the worst pain you can ever have if you step on a piece of Lego or a three pin plug. Yeah. Worst pain I ever had was when they accidentally stood on my own cock. <laughs> it was so hard. <laughs> the nearest place to Windsor is Slough. That is, uh, is quite a happening place. Lots of flashing lights. Mostly blue ones. <laughs> Lots of stars of TT. It's a cunning tool. Stars of TV. CCTV, that is. And um, some of the houses there, they have dead pets in their front gardens. Seem to have more furniture on the outside of the house than they do inside. And you often hear things like, you ginger cunt. <laughs> Directed at a fox. <laughs> We have some brilliant news headlines on some of the papers in Slough. Stories like, he died doing what he loved doing best. Yeah. Driving at 90 miles an hour on the wrong side of the carriage. <laughs> <laughs> in someone else's car. We actually had um, a front page of Dog Wins Loudest Bark Competition. Seems reasonable enough until you think, who else was going to win it? <laughs> we, also have, we also have Man Loses Keys. Admittedly, he was the locksmith, but you know. I brought a few with me actually. Um, the paper I work for, we used to run a little competition called Help Us Name the Teddy Bear. But this year it's taken a bit of a dark turn, and we've gone for Help Us Name the Dead Man. <laughs> from um, the Slough paper from last August. They've gone with a front page of headline here, headline here. <laughs> That's the proof copy for those in the business. And this is my absolute favourite from last July, again for Slough. 100 pound rebound for the town. <laughs> the last time I did that, somebody shouted out from the back, they bought a pot plant. <laughs> Um, early today I was at the library and I had to go to the toilet and as I turned to the wall I saw this sign which left me in a bit of predicament. It says please don't flush anything down this toilet other than toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> Slow though, it is a bit of a dangerous place. You could actually be stabbed over a messy eating comment. As this headline will show you. Stabbed over messy eating comment. <laughs> Um, I have to go and pick up some papers from the printers and uh, they tell me this story that they had to recall all the, all the papers because there was um, a mistake in one of the adverts and they had to destroy all the copies and they were sworn to secrecy about it. But I actually searched in there and I managed to find a copy of it. It's for a tarmac contractor and it went to press with a post-it note over the top of the ad which just says, fresh copy for this fucker. <laughs> Um, in light of the Jimmy Savile affair, I think this is a terrible name for a local school. <laughs> Eaton Pawnee. <laughs> and if you're easily offended, it's just you turn away now to show you some disabled porn from Slough. <laughs> I think I've faked that. There's the cafe and there's the uh, parking space out in the front. That was the cafe that was used in the office actually. Um, in the Slough High Street we've got this building, it says home of the Whopper on the front. That's Conservative Party headquarters. <laughs> we've also got um, Virgin Active in the High Street. That's a contradiction in itself, isn't it? <laughs> and on one of the uh, Slough estates, they've got a notice board in the middle of the green which says interesting things to do in Slough. <laughs> And as you notice, it's empty, there's just a bag of taps. Um, a couple of 
of old things now. Um, every time that fat domino fell over, invariably the rest of his family did. <laughs> <laughs> Probably with identical twins is, once you've seen one, you've seen them all. <laughs> and um, I'll tell you who you never see in the same room. Me and the wife. <laughs> and I'll just end on this. What do we want? The funk soul brother. When do we want it? Right about now. Thank you very much. I didn't mind going. I just forgot to explain these. This was because the last gig that I did, one of the other comics came up to me and he said, you need some stage presence. No. Yeah. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Michael Daly. As I mentioned earlier, these artists come from far and wide to entertain you this evening, but some of them big props. Big round of applause one more time for Mr. Michael Daly. Somebody shout out from the back, they bought a pot plant. <laughs> and early today I was at the library and I had to go to the toilet and as I turned to the wall I saw this sign which left me in a bit predicament. It says please don't flush anything down this toilet other than toilet paper. <laughs> Slaudo, it is a bit of a dangerous place. You could actually be stabbed over a messy eating comment. As this headline will show you. Stabbed over messy eating comments. <laughs> um, I have to go and pick up some papers from the printers, and uh, they're telling me this story that they had to recall all the all the papers because there was um, a mistake in one of the adverts, and they had to destroy all the copies, and they were sworn to secrecy about it. But I actually searched in there, and I managed to find a copy of it. It's for a tarmac contractor, and it went to press with a post-it note over the top of the ad, which just says, "Fresh copy." for this fucker. <laughs> um, in light of the Jimmy Savile affair, I think this is a terrible name for a local school. <laughs> Eating porny. <laughs> and if you're easily offended, it's just you turn away now to show you some disabled porn from Slough. <laughs> think I've faked that. <laughs> There's the cafe and there's the uh, parking space out in the front. That was a cafe that was used in the office actually. Um, in the Slough High Street we've got this building. It says Home of the Whopper on the front. That's Conservative Party headquarters. <laughs> we've also got um, Virgin Active in the High Street. That's a contradiction in itself, isn't it? And on one of the uh, Slough Estates, they've got a notice board in the middle of the green which says, Interesting things to do in Slough. And as you notice, it's empty. It's just a bag of taps.